An aha moment can be very subtle, and, it, and you could actually miss it if you're not paying attention. Or they can come and, you know, wham, hit you right in the heart. I've had some big aha moments when I work with clients where um, uh, the story that's being told to me by the client is not usually where we go, first of all. And when we actually get to the bottom of the unconscious obstruction that's preventing them from moving forward, it's usually completely something different than what they thought of in the first place because their conscious mind cannot access that level. They just can't. That's where it was created. So we have to go into a higher frequency in order to help them really open the door to that closet, you know, that closet. What's going to fall out of that closet? And a lot of people sometimes are afraid to do that. And the ones that come to work with me have a tremendous amount of courage because they're willing to open the doors, you know. They're willing to say, well, I don't know what this is, but, you know, let's do it. And I say, great, I'm here. I'll hold your hand. I'll facilitate that for you. And then when they leave the experience of working with me, there's a calmness to their voice. There's a peacefulness. There's a centeredness. It's, it's different. I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. They're moving more from the core of who they are rather than from some exterior concept of who they think they should be or who others think they should be. And they pull that veil away and all of a sudden they're standing there. And sometimes they feel like wet butterflies, you know? They're just standing there, they're all sticky and gooey, like, whoa! And I say, don't, don't worry, you're better than okay. Don't worry, you're gonna dry out. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, you're better than okay. And we need that. And then they say, oh, okay, good. Yeah. They, got, they made it out, they made it out of the cocoon. Yeah. <laughs>